Should you give a girl the time to choose between you and her ex? We hooked up as revenge. Well, the interesting thing about that is because a lot of people come to me that are in situations like that. And the problem is, is that if you're new in her life, then she's not going to have the emotional bond with you that she's going to have with the ex-boyfriend, especially if they were together for several years. So from a position of leverage, you're in the weakest position. And the one of my favorite quotes from Thich Nhat Hanh, he says, you must love in such a way that the person you love feels free. Mm-hmm. And that's super critical in these situations. It's, so in this case, this guy apparently is hooked up with her. Maybe he knows the ex or maybe she, you know, he was a rebound guy. The important thing is you have to, especially that situation, because when a, there's a breakup, women's emotions are like all over the place they could be hot and heavy and want to be with you i love you we're gonna get married we're gonna have kids and then a few days later i'm confused i need some space i'm not sure right now i gotta focus on myself i gotta work on myself and so it's important that you got to use like there's a chapter in three percent man about the cat analogy women are like cats and Mm -hmm. so you look at that if she kind of gets a little flaky or backs away a little bit it's just like a cat. You pet a cat for a while, and then it's purring. And then after a while, like even if you're still petting it, it'll just go, okay, I've had enough of this. And it just gets up and it leaves. Mm-hmm. And you don't run after the cat and pick it up and put it back in your lap and pet it. It'll sit around for a while, but it won't be purring like it was. And then it's, it'll get up and leave again. And if you go after it, then the cat runs away. Or it claws and you. So, well, the important thing is you have to let the cat come to you. So if the kitty cat jumps out of your lap and goes back to the ex or is still talking to the ex, because oftentimes the guy is trying to get her back. And so what's going to happen is that now she's got abundance in her life. She's got mul- multiple choices, probably you, the ex, and there might be one or other, one or two other male orbiters there. And so now she's got the paradox of choice. She's got multiple dudes. And so she's got to figure out who the most masculine one is and who's going to stimulate her emotions. And so if she backs away, you let her be. Because typically what happens, especially if she dumped the ex-boyfriend, he's going to pursue her more. And what happens is she just backs off completely. And then if you back off completely, especially the guy in this situation, and then she backs off and then the ex or the other male orbiters start pursuing her more, she'll wonder, why, why is this guy not reaching out to me? Does he not like me? Did he meet somebody else? Did he get back together with somebody else? Like, what's going on? And she'll be thinking about you because she'll know where she stands with the other guys because it's a scientific fact that women are more attracted to men whose feelings are unclear. And so when you're not chasing after her or trying to, you know, like chasing the, the kitty cat that's left your lap and you go on with your life, she'll start texting and reaching out to you and then you simply use that as an opportunity to make the next date but it's super critical in those instances that it's her choice you can't you know what you see in the movies and tv is you got to chase your you know because guys are worried like oh, i better do something or some other dude's going to come along and rip her off it looks cute in movies but in real life you it's just like chasing a kitty cat that's already tired of being petted and so with cats you just leave them alone it leaves, you know, jumps out of your lap, and then you go back to living your life and doing whatever. And a little while later, it'll come and rub, rub your leg, walk around a little bit, and then it may disappear, and then come back, and then whoosh, jumps up in your lap and starts purring again. And women behave exactly like that. So in that situation, it's super critical to let the cat, the woman, come to you at her pace. I completely agree with that. Yeah. Um, I mean. I'm a little cat mama myself, and my cats are boys, um, and I love my boys dearly. Uh, But they are independent like their mom, and they need their space. They come to me when they want love. They come to me when they want food. They come to me when I'm on the couch, and they just want to hang out. Kind of like a relationship, you know? We go about our day, we do our own things, we'll meet up, talk about how our day has been, maybe have a meal together, cook in the kitchen together, and 
at the end of the day, get in bed, they'll snuggle up with me. But other than that, that's how, I mean, I've trained my cats. And that's the type of mindset that cats really do have. And I think that it's really important for men to understand that you can't be constantly chasing a woman. Or and... trying to lock her down to a commitment. Because a lot of guys figure, i got to get her to commit to me before somebody else does. Right. But and that makes it's got to be her idea because she's yeah. not going to want to commit until she's <laughs> feeling it. In other words, her attraction level right. is to the point eight or nine where she's starting to fall in love. And then she's going to want you all to herself. And then... She'll push the other guys away, which will typically cause them to chase even more and try harder. Mm -hmm. And they'll literally drive her Insane. right into your arms. Yeah. It's like we no, yeah. they'll drive her into your your arms. It's right? like we've talked about in other videos as well. At the end of the day, it's really how you make us feel. So we will make it apparent if we like you back. Yeah. Now women don't care. I did a video about this recent. Women don't care how much you like them if you're a man. They only care how they feel about you. Because yeah. she's got four dudes all like her. She's going to go after the guy that seems indifferent and less interested and is not as trying as hard. Because a guy that's got choices and options, he's going to be in no rush. Like Rumi said, slow and steady, like the river that never grows stale. Yeah. No hurry, no rush. I definitely like don't want to rain on anyone's parade either. But I think another thing as well is, say, if in the event that we decide not to choose you, you should learn how to handle it more calmly. Now, say, if it was the other way around, that, say, a woman gets very immature about a guy not choosing us, you know, they, won't, they wouldn't like that. So we would expect the same treatment as well, mm -hmm. you know, because the reaction you give from uh, based off of a woman rejecting you really shows how that person is. Like, it really shows their level of maturity. Are you perturbed that kind of, or are you yeah. unperturbed? And that kind of stuff really does scare us away. It truly does. Right. You know, I've experienced that myself, and I'm pretty sure you have as well. Absolutely. It's not, it's, it's not pleasant. It's not attractive when a dude comes a emotionally unglued yes. and mad that you didn't pick yeah. him or you're not spending time with him or you're taking your time to return his texts or his calls or you're busy when he wants to see you. Like, we will make it apparent. Like, I cannot emphasize it enough. We will make it apparent. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And I also do think that when guys push too much, um, it deters, like, us women. You from... feel like you're losing your freedom. Right. Yeah. And, I, again, like a cat, I want my freedom. I want to be able to go and do my thing. And then hang out with my girls, spend time with myself, do my hobbies, have my job. I, I want I want to be still, I want to have like my life. And when I'm done with the day, I want a companion. Yeah, you, you don't want to be trying to lock her down. You want to create the conditions where she's trying to lock you down. Because a lot of times when I do these videos and I talk about it, guys get mad and they get angry. Oh, she, I'm her second option. I want to be her first choice. It's like, you got to let the you kitty cats come and go. It's yes. not going to work if you try to force things with a woman. They and will resent it and they'll bounce, especially if they just out of a breakup. And like right. I said, if it was the other way around, they wouldn't like that treatment either. So don't expect us to just be like, okay, sure. Like, But you should also be grateful if you are one of her options because if she's thinking about you, that's a good sign. She should be grateful that she's one of your options. Well, I think it's vice versa. I think you guys should both be grateful that... You're both thinking about one another and that you are starting something together. The reality, though, is it only matters what you guys feel about yeah. the man. It doesn't matter how much he super duper likes you or what a good guy he is or that he fixes your toilet or changes the tires in your yeah. car, puts gas in it when you, you know, shows up with a, a gas can when you run out of gas or you wreck your car and your tires go flying over the car because you can't drive.